All right, let's see if that, there we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ourselves set up right now to make sure we got all the game sounds going, but welcome back to tonight's eSports match. Tonight, we are going to be playing, uh, the Concordia eSports Overwatch team is going to be playing against Fresno State uh, with maps, control point of Lijong Tower, the hybrid map of Hollywood, and the escort map of Rialto. Both teams are getting themselves set up right now. And the game begins. We've got Atlas as Diva, Logan the Fry as Hammond the Wrecking Ball, Echo as Mercy, Double Cup Aline as Moira, Mr. Papa Bear as Junkrat, and Reaction 104 as Ash. Fresno State getting themselves set up on the point right away. Cordy is going to try and go into that main front entrance. Now remember, this is a control map, so both teams have to, it's going to be holding this objective point here in the middle up until the percentage reaches 100. You can see some of those somber turrets coming out from Cherry on the defense. And Fresno's going to get the first picks of the match. Bacon Strip taking out Atlas. And Cherry taking out Logan the Fry. Fro uh, Fresno State's going to move on to the point, and they're going to get that and start pushing Concordia back. You can see that trap going down. Fresno State hasn't yet secured the objective point. I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Might have been a slight oversight on their part, but they're going to be pushing F Concordia back to this main sort of choke point here. Up. And as I say that, they're going to back onto the point. Looks like Logan's, the Wrecking Ball's on there. It's going to try and push them back. Going to get the pick out. And that's going to be the capture point for Fresno's. And Cordy getting themselves regrouped now. You can see them sort of setting up there in the left entrance. And the Reinhardt moving forward with that shield to help deflect some of that damage. Logan Fry comes through, drops a bunch of mines. Doesn't do a whole lot, though. They seem to be just slightly off of the choke point where everybody else is. You can see one of those turrets coming down to help pick out a few of those mines. And that turret's going to get taken down. You can see reactions over there on the right side is a junk. Trying to launch some stuff, get a better angle. And Cordy's going to try and go into that main entrance once again. Logan moves in on the point. He's going to dive down to try and get a shatter. And the Moira ult is dropped. You can hear that junk tower being dropped. There's, that's three ults, I believe, dropped there by Concordia. And an ultimate dropped by Fresno State. Two ultimates. You can see that. Oh, wait, no, that was Concordia's ultimate. Oh, no, that was Fresno State. There we go. And Fresno's going to hold on to that run. It's going to try and surge through. Doesn't quite work for Concordia, and Fresno's going to hold that. And they're just over the halfway mark for this first objective capture. See here, Cordy looks like they're going to try once again for that front entrance. Doesn't seem to be working out too well for them there. A couple of swaps, double couple of leans switching over to the Baptiste. And we're going to see some of those mines being dropped on the point there. Ryan Shield's going to take the majority of those out, but not before Logan's man usually gets a couple picks. Papa Bear gets out. Both of the healers are look to be down, and they're going to start getting out some of those tanks. The mines are coming out once again. And Concordia is going to capture the point with 83, 84% held for the Fresno State side. Good capture by Concordia. You can see Fresno State up there starting to regroup. Concordia looks like they're going to stay a little bit closer to the objective point, not necessarily pull up as aggressively as Fresno State did on their hold. Interesting choice. You can see Fresno starting to move in. And a couple of ults being dropped. You can see the BAP ult going to get some damage boost through that window. An ultimate being dropped by Echo. And you can see coming in, getting a couple of those picks. Diva Bomb coming in hard, and that's going to get one of those. But a good hold by Concordia. Looks like Fresno State's got to swap off Cherry, switching over to the Tracer. Get a little bit of that speed boost coming in here. And Fresno State starts grouping up. You can see them there getting ready to go in. Cherry looking to try and get a flank. Doesn't quite seem to be working out. In terms of ultimates, Concordia's got two there. Double couple lean with the window and Papa Bear with that rip tire. Fresno State got a couple coming up. As I say that, Reinhardt gets his ultimate set up and ready to go. If you can get a good shatter, that'll be a pretty big thing. Concordia passed the halfway mark and capturing this first point. And speaking of that shatter, there it goes. They're going to move and try to use that to their advantage. You can see those picks are coming off hard, though. Concordia gets off that tease. Reaction gets packed up. A couple of bombs coming down here. You can see Concordia's doing their best to hold in there. Ooh, and a couple of boops off the edge by Logan the Fry, naked out both of Fresno State's healers. You can see there, still a couple on there. On the Fresno State side, you can see them trying to hold on, and it's going to be enough for them to capture. Echo's going to move in, try to get a res on there. And they're going to try and get those picks out of the way. 
Let's see here. That mech is going to come back in. And looks like Concordia's taking the lead here on this first capture point. We're probably going to be going into an overtime. And we're going to be seeing a lot of ults drop. Speaking, as I say that, Kevin GMT drops a few ultimates right there. That Atlas ult, though, is going to take off Vexura and Night Knight. At this point, Concordia wants to do their best to hold in for as long as possible. And Fresno State's able to recapture the point. Concordia's got about one more good push here left to go as the clock ticks over to 90%. Concordia has to be able to touch the point in order to get this, and looks like Concordia's going to get on there and capture. That's going to start pushing Fresno back onto the objective point, and that's going to bring it into overtime, giving Concordia the rest of the chance to come in. Reaction switching over to the Pharah, and Flower dropping that ultimate. Another ultimate right there. A couple of those bombs coming out. And see here, most all of Fresno State's on there. Just a couple picks still. And Cordy doing a pretty good job of holding on there. You can see Atlas still managing to stay in, and as well as Papa Bear with the Junkrat. Is he going to be able to touch? Not quite. Really close hold, though. And Fresno State's going to get the first point. This is two out of three. So if Concordia manages to snag the next point, we will go into third round. But if Fresno State does get this one, we will be seeing a win on the first round for Fresno State. Getting ready for our next setup here. This is going to be the tower objective here. You can see the teams are getting themselves set up here. See Papa Bear switching over to the Symmetra. Not a whole lot of changes though between these guys. Cherry on the other side is going to be switching over to the McCree. I didn't mention who's on the def on the Fresno State side. Far as the ghost coming in as Reinhardt Night Knight as the Zarya. Kev Gaming as the Junkrat. Cherry as McCree. Vexura as Z the Baptiste and Bacon Strip as Lucio. I see that teleporter coming out, giving Cody a little bit of a better chance to go in. And Fresno State's going to move in and move up to their left. Try and get a little bit of a height advantage here. You can see Logan coming around to try and go behind, and they're going to try and pin Fresno State. Sherry's going to get the first pick, taking out Double Couple Lee. And we've also got that May there being played by Mr. Papa Bear. And Cherry is going to take out Logan the Fry. Kev Gaming takes out Reaction. You can see the Echo and Atlas trying to hold in on that point. And Fresno State is going to take the first capture. They're going to pick off Atlas as well, and you can see Concordia's getting themselves ready and grouped up. Fresno State immediately is going to move in and try to secure that first choke point there and get that doorway held. That door is going to be a big choke point for Concordia, especially with how far up Fresno State is holding. You can see that Maywall coming in. That's going to be incredibly useful when getting some of these picks. You can see it basically blocks off a good chunk of the team, and Flower Ghost manages to take out Papa Bear. Reaction gets knocked out as well by Night Knight. Fresno State doing a pretty good job at managing to hold this choke point here. If Concordia wants to be able to make through, they're going to have to find a good way around or through that point without getting too many people picked off. Baptiste dropping the ult there. That window is going to be amplifying a lot of the damage given out as well as the healing sent through. So that's going to be a bit more of a challenge. You can start Concordia grouping up, and some of them are starting to run around. Papa Bear switching over to the Sombra. Looks like what he's going to do, he's going to try and sneak his way around behind and start taking the objective point. You can see him there. Fresno State starting to move back to the point. They're realizing what's going on. And Concordia is going to use that to their advantage to try and move through. Cherry drops an ultimate, and Ryan drops an ult, and both of those are going to get some decent picks. Fresno State's up to 66% on the capture point. Cordy really hasn't been able to make it through this doorway. If they're going to get a good... Oh, speaking of making it through the doorway, looks like Sombra's back on the point. More just stalling out and pushing things back. You can see Papa Bear over there coming in on the left side. And Concordia's going to get through that doorway. If they want to get a good capture, though, they're going to need to move in quick. A couple of ultimates. Ooh. And that Atlas ultimate's going to take off a few people. Concordia's going to start moving in there. Isn't quite enough, though. Up oh, and there they go. You can see Kev being the last person on the team. And that's going to be a team wipe for Fresno State, giving Concordia the opportunity to flip. But with 96% capture by Fresno State, if Concordia wants to be able to hold this, they're going to need to play aggressively here and find ways to keep Fresno State off the payload as long as possible. You can see Atlas and Logan moving up to try and hold there. They're going to start backing up. A couple of volts being dropped there. The bat window and the... Graviton surge there by Fresno State, but those aren't really going to do too much as most of the people that would have affected are dead. Double couple lean gets knocked back, reaction is going to get hit, and Fresno State's going to start moving in on the point. 96. You can see the ball coming in now. 
And that's going to bring the game into overtime since he was able to hold in there. That, ooh, a quick hack there by the Sombra is going to knock out Cherry's ultimate there, basically making it impossible to use. Cody is still doing their best to stay on the point there. You can see Echo coming in to try and help. Fred's is starting to push back. Holding on for that point for as long as possible. They need to start tapping. Alice is going to get him on the point to tap it. That's going to be the last one. And unless Logan can make it in time, doesn't quite make it. And that's going to be the first round to Fresno State. We'll take a moment here and watch the play of the game. And that's actually going to be Logan's play here at Zarya. I'm going to guess this was probably from our first round, if I had to take a guess. Oh, second round, actually. What do you know? Ah, and we don't get to see the end of it, unfortunately. But we're going to take a quick pause as we get set up for our next round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. We're getting ourselves entered into the game here. Our next round is going to be a hybrid map here at Hollywood. This is going to be a two-phase round. The first round, the team has to secure an objective point, which in this case is going to be a limousine driven by some fancy big Hollywood executive. And then from that point on, once that objective is secured, they're going to be escorting that payload through a controlled map area you can see right now we're taking a look at some of the the route for the control map that car right there is going to be the payload both teams are going to be capturing that first and then once that is done moving it through a predetermined course you can see that sort of here on the screen ready for battle. teams are getting themselves ready and set up concordia is going to be on the offense to start off since they are the away team on the defending side we've got flower flower ghost as reinhardt night knight as zarya Kev Gaming as Reaper, Cherry as Hanzo, Vexera as Baptiste, and Bacon Strip as Lucio. On the offensive side for Concordia, we've got Atlas as Reinhardt, Logan the Fry as Zarya, Echo as Mercy, Double Cup Oline as Baptiste, Mr. Papa Bear as Ash, and Reactions 104 as Echo. And with five seconds left on the clock, the match is about to begin. You can see Fresno starting to set up a little bit forward here. There's going to be this huge choke point up ahead that we'll be seeing a lot of action through. You can see them setting up right here. That's going to be this big old archway right here. Attempt by Papa Bear to toss some dynamite. Doesn't quite make it through. And Concordia is going to start moving through. Get some picks. You can see that shield coming up. A flower ghost is going to get him knocked out. Reinhardt gets rezzed up. Echo comes in with the rez. You can see those Baptiste immortality fields being dropped by on both sides. Concordia is going to start moving their way through there. And you can see the Echo up top. Kev is going to get a pick off on Atlas. Papa Bear is going to pick off on Cherry, which will be probably useful getting those snipes out of the way. And Concordia is going to start backing out a little bit. You can see Logan there trying to hold in, keep things a little bit forward. The big challenge that Concordia is going to have, especially with this sort of hold right now, is that Reinhardt shield. Those shields, breaking through those shields is going to be taking out a lot of damage. And being able to break through them is going to be incredibly helpful. You can see Concordia moving through the majority of that choke point. You can see Reaction up there as well as Mercy with the Echo. Those are going to be incredibly useful having that height altitude advantage. Ryan drops a shadow, shadow there and they're going to see another shadow drop as well. It's a weird setup that we got going on here because both teams are doing a 
You can see Concordia's doing a really good job of holding some of that upper high ground, but they're not really able to capitalize on them too much, and as a result, Fresno State's able to pick them off and push them back out of that choke point. And see here Concordia getting themselves regrouped. Papa Bear tossing out a little bit of TNT in the meantime to try and cause some damage before moving in. Fresno State's going to take this opportunity to get themselves regrouped and ready to go. In terms of ultimates, keep, keep an eye out for that Reaper ultimate by Kev on the Fresno State side. Finding a way to drop through and use that's going to be useful. Cherry manages to get a pick off on Reaction. And a TNT is going to go off by Cherry. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage though. Once again, both teams here setting themselves up. Cordia trying to find an opportunity to get through that choke point there. They've been doing a pretty decent job of making it through in the past. We'll see what they're able to do with this next push. Just under two minutes left on the clock for Concordia to go to capture. You can see Papa Bear moving in on the right to try and get a couple of hits. Logan the Fry is going to drop that shatter. And another shatter is going to be dropped on the defensive side. That's actually going to get three picks. And Reaper is going to get the rest of the team. That is going to be a team kill for Fresno State. And a minute and a half left to go on the clock. Concordia's got about two, maybe three team fights left in them before the time runs out. If Concordia wants to be able to make some good moves on this, they're going to need to start playing a little bit more aggressively, finding good ways to get through that choke point. In terms of switches, you can see the Reinhardt being swapped out for the Sigma by Atlas, having a little bit more mobility with that shield. And you can see him up there at the front, also being able to use that to get some out. A couple of ultimates being dropped there as well. Don't do a whole lot, though. You can see the Immortality Field and the Graviton Surge didn't do a too lot. Papa Bear is going to drop Bob on the payload. That's going to start moving uh, Fresno State back a little bit, and that's going to give Concordia the opportunity to move through. And that's three ultimates dropped there. The Zarya ultimate being dropped, or the uh, Echo ultimate dropped there. So you get ultimates. A Bob comes out, and that's going to get picked out pretty quickly. Just a little over 30 seconds left to go. Concordia is staying really grouped up here. They're not trying to make a lot of moves on the payload, which is something they need to do because they've got 30 seconds left on the clock. So if they want to be able to make it through, they're going to need to move in and move fast. They're starting to see that, I think, now. Trying to find an opportunity to get through, but they might have lost it with that. how that last team fight went. Ten seconds left on the clock. A couple of ultimates being formed up. We'll see what happens. Atlas is going to... Looks like they're getting ready. There's ultimate number one. Be dropped by the Zarya. And are they going to be able to tap? They're barely able to tap in. Reaction manages to step on at the last second. Ultimate drop by the Reinhardt to get a couple of picks. Reaction's down. Reaction is down. Echo is down. Looks like there's one, two on the payload. And that isn't going to be quite enough. That's going to be a team kill. And Fresno State gets the win for this first round. This is going to get a little bit more of a challenge for Concordia. They're going to have to pay, play aggressively while also playing conservatively. Because if, Con if Fresno State manages to get one single tick on the payload, that is going to be the round. Initiating match. Both the teams getting themselves set up now for this next round of fights here. And we seem to have lost sound there. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Let's take a look at this quick. And see here. There we go. There we go. I think uh, still not showing up for some reason. Concordia is going to be on the defensive side now. Uh, Fresno State on the offense as those do switch out. And we're seeing what's going on with the audio here. We apologize for this. For the, we'll take a look and see. There we go. Get that back in. All right. As Concordia gets themselves set up, we'll take a look at the lineups for both teams. Atlas coming in as Reinhardt, Logan the Fry coming in as Azari, Echo coming in as Mercy. A little bit of a lag spike there, goodness. Double Couple Lean looks like he's going to be coming in as Baptiste, Papa Bear as Ash, and Reactions as Farah. On the offensive side, we got Flowers, Flower Ghost as Reinhardt, Night Knight as Zarya, K KCV Gaming as Beast. Uh, McCree, Cherry as Ash, Vexera as Baptiste, and Bacon Strip as Lucio. Not a lot of changes from the Fresno State side. They've been using a comp that's been working out pretty well for them these past couple matches. We'll see how it goes. Concordia setting up right inside that choke point, and they're going to start holding. You can see Fresno State starting to move in. Reaction is going to go up, try to get a little more altitude with the Farah. Doesn't look like they've got a lot um, in terms on the side there. Papa Bear managed to take out that Baptiste Immortality Field. 
And the first pick of the game, though, is going to go to Cherry, who managed to get both Baptiste and Papa Bear. Far Ghost managed to pick off Echo. Fresno State's going to start moving on to that payload there. You can already see him pushing back, pushing Cordia forward. And that is going to be a almost a full team wipe there. And Fresno State's going to let that payload go. And that's the game, folks. We are going to be doing a third round in case of potential tiebreakers, which will be a full-on escort map in Rialto. And we will be back. We'll see, what, we'll see if they let us up. And we'll be back right after this. Yeah. All right, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with our last match of the night. This is going to be a full-on escort match on Rialto, where the teams will be pushing a payload down a predetermined course. You can see some of this payload pretty well laid out by these lovely, lovely roads that are there to help determine where the payload's going. The payload is on a predetermined path, so it's up for both teams to manage to keep that payload moving down that path without having to worry too much about contests by the other team. McCordy, of course, is going to be on the offense for this first round, as they are the away team. They're getting themselves set up now. We got Atlas coming in as Diva, Logan the Fry in as Zari, Echo as Mercy, Double Capoline as Moira, Mr. Papa Bear as Echo, and Reactions 104. 
as Ash. On the defensive side, we've got Flower of Ghosts coming in as Winston. We haven't seen that tonight. We'll see how that goes for him. Night Knight as the Azaria once again. Kev Gaming as the Ash. Cherry as Hanzo. Vexera as the Ana. And Bacon Strip as Mercy. And with this, and this will be the last match of the game tonight. And here we go. You can see Trezno going with a little bit more of a bunker setup. You can see they've got three snipers, basically. So they're all going to be holding up a little bit high there. And Concordia is going to do their part to start try and move on that. It's going to get them over that first bridge choke point. And keep that payload moving forward. You can see Logan up there on the choke. And the Winston coming in to try and get some contests going. You can see here. Uh, a little bit of backing out there. Echo's going to come in and get a good res on reaction there to help out. And you can see the uh, Fresno State team holding up on that top point, giving those snipers a little bit of an altitude advantage. Double couple lean gets picked off by those snipers. And you can see the Winston coming in to drop down onto the point. And he's going to try and jump out, back themselves off a little bit. And that's going to give Concordia the opportunity to start pushing around that corner there. And see Concordia's doing a really good job of holding close to this objective. And just a couple of ults will start seeing those coming in there. Speaking of ults coming in, looks like Kev's got his, Vexor's got her, that one. But those aren't going to be used too well. As Vexor, you can see Reaction coming in getting an elimination there. And looks like they've got, uh, looks like Concordia's got a good job pushing the team back a little bit and that's going to give them a mostly clear spot to push that payload all the way to that first objective marker you can see that set up right there Cordy did a really good job there managing to push off those uh push the team back out of those sniping points and a couple of ults are going to get dropped down you can see the bob getting dropped down as well as the ana ult there to help get a little bit more time on there. Papa Bear managed to get a pick off on Bacon Strip. Couple of ults coming in. That's gonna be a really good set of ults right there. You can see those two snipers trying to sneak in there. And you can see that Winston Ultimate coming in as well, but that's not gonna be quite enough. Oh, Monkey's still on the payload. Managed to get in there just in the nick of time, but that's gonna be just enough for Concordia to push that up to the next objective. And with that kill coming in right afterwards, that's gonna give Flower a goat. Flower goes a little bit of a long spawn. He's got a bit more of a distance to travel to get to the rest of his team. Atlas starting to move up, trying to get some better points for the next picks. And you can see him sliding up there to do some battle with the, t the snipers. Trying to get those snipers picked out of the way because the sooner those height advantages are taken out, the better off Concordia will be pushing that objective forward. And as a result, that actually seems to be doing really well for him. You can see Concordia's got it pretty uncovered because of that push back. Being able to push those guys out of those sniper advantages was a huge advantage. And as a result, they're going to start using that to their advantage. The ultimate by Atlas is going to take out Bacon Strip. Cherry manages to get a pick on Reaction, although that res comes in. Cherry manages to get another pick on Echo. You can see the two snipers sort of there on the side. Cherry gets picked off by Reaction, and they're going to keep pushing the payload forward. And Cordy's been doing a really good job this match of managing to hold those objective points, keep this payload moving. They're doing a decent job of staying with this. Something we haven't been seeing a whole lot of tonight, and they are moving up on that. They are going to get the, they are going to get this team pushed back as far as possible from this payload, and that's going to be enough for Concordia to get that second objective point with four minutes and thirty seconds left on the clock. And you can see already some of those ultimates starting to get formed up. We'll probably be seeing a decent number of those being used here in this next team fight. Speaking of which, here comes one night now. Gets a. A little bit probably sooner than Papa Bear was hoping to, but that is going to get their Mercy taken out of the way. Reaction gets picked up by Kev Gaming. Echoes comes back in with the Revive. And you can see we got a switch here. They're going to swap off to a Roadhog. A Dragon Blade coming in by the Genji. Not going to be quite enough. And the Bob's coming in as well just to help secure things and make things going. But it looks like most of that team has been picked out and pushed back which is going to give Concordia an opportunity to push back to basically the final choke point here. This is going to be the big challenge for Concordia is getting through this last place. You can see that uh, Fresno State has some really close spawns, but Concordia is doing a great job of staying forward. They're trying to get that team off. Speaking of things coming in, there comes a Bob. That Bob is going to be trying to get some picks. And with that and a good hook, 
Looks like that's going to take a good chunk of the Concordia team out of the way. However, though, that was a really good push. You can see three min and minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock, and that's going to be the last pick getting reaction off. Cordy's getting themselves grouped back up and ready to set up for this next pay push here. And in terms of ultimates, we'll probably be seeing a couple of really good ones as well. You can see that Diva Bomb and the Valkyrie there for the Mercy. Both of those will come incredibly handy. On the defending side, Biggest Rift got his ult, but that's the only one that we've got a lot of. We might be seeing that, depending on how things go, we might see that Roadhog ult coming in here pretty soon. You can see his already up to 80%. And there's going to be a couple picks. Speaking of ultimates, there comes Cherry with that McCree Deadeye. Doesn't quite work though, and gets hacked. You can see Papa Bear switching over to the Sombra there. And Vexroft, who has switched over to Zenyatta, managed to get a pick off on that. Kev Gaming managed to take out Atlas. And two and a half minutes just under the clock there. We've got three ultimates now. Reaction gets picked off. We've got the Diva Bomb, the Valkyrie and the uh, Moira ult as well. Cordy's backing up. This is going to give Fresno State the opportunity to push forward and start holding this new, a little bit more forward choke point. The big challenge with this, though, is that while it is a pretty big choke point, it's only a big one when the payload is there. Since Concordia's already moved the payload through, Concordia has now three separate ways that they can go through to get back up to this point. Atlas is going to get DMX there. You see that Graviton Surge? Looks like they're get, looking for a good opportunity to use that. Vexoroth managed to get a pick on Mr. Papa Bear. And a Discord goes out. You can see here. Minute, a little bit over a minute and a half left to go. Atlas is getting to get that mech back in for the D.Va. Cherry's got his ult. Caves's got his ult. And Concordia looks like they're going around on that right side there. Trying to get a little bit of a height advantage. You see them coming in here. And ultimate drop by the Logan Fry, as well as a Diva Bomb. That's going to take out a really good chunk of the con of the uh, team there. That takes out almost five there. Not quite enough, though. You can see Vexera and Cherry managing to hold in as well. A very good ultimate usage there. You can see Papa Bear starting to back out there. We've got 60 seconds left on the clock. And it looks like we'll have a few more ults getting ready for this next set. You can see Reaction, Papa Bear, and Double Cup of Lean all have theirs on the defensive side. Night Knight's just about to get his. As I say that, he gets his now. And Bacon Strip as well. You can see the Papa Bear coming through there on the right side. Trying to find a way through to hopefully get a drop her ultimate. Oh, getting a quick hack there. And the Sig uh, ult is going to be dropped by Fred Snow. There goes that propaganda. The, yeah, whatever it's called. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> Concordia is going to try and move in and capitalize on that. Double Couple Lee managed to get a pick on Night Knight. Far on Night. Rez comes in by both of the Mercies. Logan gets picked back up as is Night Knight. And Concordia is going to move in to contest and start pushing that forward. You can see Logan there on the payload getting joined by Atlas and the Echo. And they're going to start moving up, get that cap and move forward. Far gets picked off. Cherry gets picked off. And that's going to push. That's going to push this into overtime with Concordia still on this. If Concordia gets moved off before... You can see Bob coming in, try to stall out that contest. So Concordia is going to try and concentrate some fire. Gets the Bob picked out. Uh, D-Mech coming in by Cherry. And Bacon Strip gets a res on Night Night. Flower gets double couple lean. Concordia's been doing a really good job pushing here, staying close. You can see here. It's not going to be quite enough, though. Oh, quick contest as I say that. I don't know what... Ah, there they are. The Sombra. And that's going to need not quite enough, but a really good push for Concordia on this first round. Make it almost all of the way through. Fresno State's got a pretty decent amount of place to go. And we'll see how this goes. So in order for Fresno State to manage to get the win on this, they're going to have to just push it further than Concordia does. But if Concordia's defense can match their offense for this round, then I think we'll be pretty good for a Concordia win on Rialto tonight. You can see here we've got about 15 seconds for both teams to pick their heroes. Concordia now going to be on the defending side. And, of course, Fresno State on the offense. And Concordia will be coming out here in just a moment. So we'll see what they pick for this round. Ready for battle. On the defensive side, we've got Atlas coming in as D.Va. Logan the Fry coming in as Zarya. Echo as Mercy. Double Cup Olin as Moira. Mr. Papa Bear 
as Ash and Reactions 104 as Farah. On the offensive side, we've got Flower of Ghost coming in as Hammond the Wrecking Ball. We saw a little bit of Hammond played by Logan the Fry earlier in that first match. Haven't really seen him since. Night Night coming in as Zarya. Pretty solid pick for Night Night so far. It's been seeming to work out well for him. Kev Gaming coming in as Ash. Cherry coming in as the Widowmaker, another sniper. Vexora coming in as Zenyatta, and Bacon Strip coming in as Mercy. Recordy is going to be setting up a little bit high there. You can see Papa Bear coming in to help with those snipes. That, of course, these balconies here are incredibly useful when it comes to getting some good snipes there. You can see the Diva sort of acting as a shield there. You can see those little things coming out in front of her. Those basically manage to snag a bit of bullets. So it's doing their best to pick off some of those things there. You can see the ball coming in behind, try and get some picks here. And Night Knight is going to move up, and they're going to try and get that push around the corner. You can see Kev Gaming setting up. Night Knight actually first one picked off. Kev Gaming gets a pick on reaction, and Logan managed to get a pick before Rez comes in. Flower Ghost managed to get a pick. Echo's going to get a re Rez. You can see Re uh, Logan down there. You can see the ball coming in, playing very aggressively. That is a style that you see a lot with the Wrecking Ball is getting in and moving out, especially with that mobility there. Having that ball being able to just move in and out at will, incredibly beneficial for teams. And Concordia is going to start sort of be pushed off the point there, and it looks like Fresno State is going to make it to that first main choke point. And that entire alleyway, in a sense, is a choke point, but Concordia is going to do a decent job of contesting and holding it in there. The Wrecking Ball ultimate coming in, the big, big old field of mines. And they're going to get a DMEC on the D.Va there. Although not before Logan the Fry manages to get Flower of Ghosts comes in. A couple more ults coming in there. You can see the Transcendence being dropped by the Zen Yada. That's going to basically absorb a large, basically it's a temporary, temporary immortality field. Cherry gets a pick on Double Couple Lee and Papa Bear gets a pick on Bacon Strip. Logan the Fry is going to start moving up to contest once again. Echo's going to come in and get the res on Double Couple Lee. And Concordia once again playing incredibly close to that ultimate. They're going to try and get... And there goes Night Night as I say that. KCV gets picked off as well. And Concordia is going to take advantage of this move forward and start setting up. Giving themselves a little bit of space between them and Fresno State's team. Cherry's going to swap over now to McCree. Looks like they're going to try and use that to counter the fair that Reaction's playing. We'll see how that goes for them. And it looks like Fresno State's going to start going down that side aisle. Oh, nope. They're going back down the main entrance, that main pathway that we'll see. You can also see that side aisle there, another option. Diva's going to come in and drop an ultimate there. That's going to get a couple of picks, taking out KCV and Vexera. Bacon Strip's going to come in with that res, and their Atlas is going to pick up Night Knight. The ball coming in, sneaking around behind, trying to get with the rest of his team. And Cody's doing a really good job on holding this first objective point. A minute 25 seconds left on the clock. You can see the ball sort of starting to sneak around a little bit there, trying to go on that left side to hopefully get some advantages, sneak around Concordia and get onto that payload. As I say that, he starts to move in. Looks like he's trying to push people in. Doesn't quite work though. And you can see here, Atlas actually managed to swallow that ultimate there from Night Knight with that uh, barrier thing that I mentioned earlier. Florida comes in, he's gonna get some, try and get some of those, drop the minefields once again. Fresno State's going to start taking advantage of that and start moving back onto the payload. You can see, though, they've got 60 seconds left on the clock. You can see Double Couple Lean trying to stay relatively close. We'll see if Concordia tries for one last push in. Not quite going to happen. Kev manages to get a pick on Double Couple Lean. And that's going to push Concordia back, giving Fresno State the opportunity to secure that first point. However, that was a really good round for Concordia on the defensive side. You can see them doing a really good job of holding back Fresno State and running back the clock. You can see that. Ash coming in, trying to drop some TNT. Fresno State's going to move across the bridge, basically without any challenge. You can see a lot of the fight going on inside of this building here. As four out of the five out of the six, oh no, nope, all six of the Concordia team are in there, and they're going to. Fresno State gets a pick off on Logan the Fry, who gets immediately res by Echo, and Concordia is going to step basically right through that doorway and start contesting. Bob comes through the doorway and get pushed in. You can see the Bob trying to get a few picks. That ultimate there by the Ash. High Noon Ultimate coming in from the McCree. We'll see if he up, uses that to get a pick on Papa Bear. Double Couple Lean staying really close to that and gets picked up by Vexera. Flower Ghost gets picked off by Logan the Fry. And speaking of which, Logan's going to start moving in, try, trying to contest. Kev Gaming, you can see that altitude coming in there. Going to get a couple of picks as well. Farrah coming in, manages 
reaction managed to get a pick on Kev. Looks like he's going to try and drop in. Almost gets it, but gets picked off by Cherry. Incredible aim there. Fresno State staying close to that. You can see Papa Bear sneaking around, trying to do his best to get close to that payload. As I say that, T Logan comes in. Cherry's going to get a pick on that. Ultimate dropped by Atlas. Doesn't quite do enough to work, though. You can see Logan staying close there, still contesting that payload. And Fresno State's going to move on to the second point with two minutes and 58 seconds left to go. And Cordy's going to now on this back spawn, they're going to take a moment to back up or regroup as Fresno State starts moving forward to get that payload moving. You can see them all sort of setting up here in this next choke point there, that sort of bridgeway. Atlas switching over to Reinhardt now, giving that shield a little bit more of an advantage. We start moving forward here. Aside from that, not a whole lot of switches except for that Tracer ultimate. Concordia gets pushed back through that there. And they're going to start moving that forward. We'll see if Concordia manages to get in the contest. Logan drops his ultimate there, that Graviton Surge. They're going to get a pick on Kev. Flowers, one of Flowers' minds managed to pick up Echo. Kev gets rezzed by Mercy. Vexorup gets a pick. Kev gets a pick on Atlas. And that's not going to be quite enough, and that's going to be game. And we'll see if they let us watch the play of the game. We'll take a look and see here. But that is going to be our game for tonight. Join us next week at about 6.30 for our next match. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening.